Here's how we are gonna get this one done. First and foremost, this is gonna be found in unit five, okay? This is unit five of the arithmetic reasoning course. So let me write that down first and foremost. Everybody, unit five, or this question itself, is what type of question? How would you categorize this? This is a what type of question? Yeah, this is distance rate time, exactly. So this is a distance rate time problem. Distance equals rate times time. Sounds good. Now, here's the thing, my math part of it. Here's the thing. One thing is, well, let's look at the information we have. Because if we first start with the question, it says, how far apart will the planes be after 12 hours? So everybody, is it true that when we see how far apart and we read terminology like kilometers, 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 is it true that we're looking for the distance? Is it true that we're looking for the distance? Yeah, absolutely. We are absolutely looking for the distance. That's what we want. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. We want the distance. And in the same question sentence, we see that we are looking at a time frame of 12 hours. So we have time, the time is 12 hours. Okay, so with that, it looks like all we gotta do is figure out what the rate is and we're done. Be careful though, let's read through the question. What does it say? So, two planes, starting from the same position, begin traveling in opposite directions. Sounds good, let me let this person in. So, we have starting from the same position, begin traveling in opposite directions. Most people just kind of overlook that. We'll keep reading and we'll say, plane A travels at a rate of 690 kilometers per hour and plane B travels at a rate of 966 kilometers per hour. Okay, what is the problem there? Uh, first of all, plane A, 690 kilometers per hour. And then plane B, 966 kilometers per hour. What? Ah, I see my people that have been in the course who've been to my classes on distance rate time. I see y'all. Exactly. Exactly. So boom, that's the key there. The big key of this problem, for those of you that haven't been to these classes, is this. Let me highlight this in, I use purple, I use green, let me use blue. Opposite directions. That's the big thing there. That's the big thing. If we're traveling in opposite directions, think of it like this, everybody. We're trying to figure out what we're supposed to do with these rates. If these things are moving at the same time, think of it like this. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna say that the hand that you see here, my left hand, I'm gonna call this my left hand even though it's my right, but you see my left hand, you see my right hand, and here's what happens. If with my left hand, I take two steps, and then with my right hand, I go ahead and take three steps. Everyone, how far apart are my hands? How many steps apart? If this one goes two steps and this one goes three steps, how far apart are they now? Yeah, five. That's because if you're going in opposite directions, they're each covering their own ground. And so the total space between them increases. The, the space between them increases because one's going in one direction and one's going in the other direction. And so you're gonna count it all together because they're going opposite ways. If they're going in the same direction, like let's say this person goes three and two, notice how if they're going in the same direction, you gotta cut off the same direction, the same distance that they already gone. You only count the new distance. But in this case, because we're going in opposite directions, one, two, three, four, five, you add it together when you're going in opposite directions. So with that said, my party people, right here, 
we will add the 690 and the 966 to get our true rates. And again, I explain all of this. I know I'm giving you a crash course here, but I explain all of this in the unit five of the arithmetic reasoning course. You got that? So if we add these up, six, nine plus six is 15, carry the one. 15 plus one is 16. So we have 1656. So that's the true rate. The true rate is 1656. They are moving away from each other at that rate of speed. So with that said, my party people, boom, we're good. We're trying to find that distance. We're doing 1656 times 12. And you can actually kind of guesstimate if you want to, because everybody, if you're doing a big number like that times 12, think about it. Is 12 a little more than 10? Is 12 a little more than 10? It is, right? So why would I waste time? If this is the ASVAB, think about it. If this is the ASVAB, why would I go ahead and set this up like this when I know that multiplying by 12 is just like multiplying by 10, then adding on two more of those numbers. So the 1656, two more of those after the fact. But if I'm multiplying by 10, stack a zero. So 16,560, look for the number that's above 16,560. Which number here is just above 16,560? Reasonably so. Yeah, C is reasonably there. I'll take that. That'll be my answer. If the answers were a little closer together and you actually weren't precisely able to tell, then I would recommend going ahead and do the full multiplication just like this to prove that you know the right answer. Six times two is 12. Five times two is 10, carry the 111. Six times two is 12, carry the one is 13. One times two is two, carry the one is three. Next up, six times one, five times one, six times one, one times one. Add it all together, two, seven, eight, nine, one, 19,872, which is the exact answer we got. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.